Hello everyone, I'm Yinie from the Bournemouth University. Today, I'm going to have a brief introduction about our work, the Total 3D Understanding. It is to jointly reconstruct zoom layout, object poses and meshes in an indoor scene by only using a single image. That is to say, we holistically understand the indoor scene at both the semantic and the geometric levels. To fulfill this target, we decouple the entire task into three modules. From the source image with the two detections of objects, we firstly estimate the room layout in the wall system, that is the bounding box of the room boundary, and then we predict the object bounding box of each 2D detection in the camera system. This is our second step. Then for each single object image, we obtain the 3D mesh in the canonical system with the normal mesh generator. After that, we embed the output from the three modules from button to top with joint chaining, and end to end produce a semantically rich 3D scene as a final output. For the 3D object detector, from the source image, we firstly go through a 2D detector to produce 2D bounding boxes. Then, for each object, we produce the geometry feature from the 2D detections and use the ResNet to generate the appearance feature. After that, we utilize an attention module to obtain the relational feature from the target object to its surroundings. Then, for each target, we add its appearance feature to the relational feature and regress the bounding box parameters like the object size, orientation, and location in the camera system. So, the 3D detector will produce all the bounding boxes in your scene. Besides the 3D object detection, for the layout estimation, it shares the similar structure of our 3D detector and uh, it generates the box parameters of the layout bounding boxes. In mesh generation, again, from each object image, we firstly predict the mesh and uh, progressively modify the topology to approximate its 3D shape. During this phase, we contain the appearance feature and the detected category code to regress its 3D shape from a template sphere using the ATAS net. Note that the current topology of the shape is still homomorphic with the sphere. So here we design an edge classifier to remove redundant faces to make the shape topology identical to the ground truth. During inference, we transform the object meshes from the canonical system into the bounding boxes in the camera system and further transform them to the room layout in the wall system that enables the joint chaining and the end-to-end -end produce a 3D scene. Here are some of our results. We test our method of images with both single and multiple objects. For the single object cases, we compare our method with a set of R's. The results show that our method produces smooth surfaces with better topology quality. For images with multiple objects, here are some quality results on some RGBD datasets. It demonstrates that with different complexities, our method maintains visually appealing object meshes with reasonable object placement. In the quantitative results, we evaluate our method on four aspects, that is the layout estimation, the 3D object detection, the object pose estimation and the mesh reconstruction. We also update our method into two configurations, with or without joint training. The evaluations show that our joint training strategy consistently improves the method on each metric and reaches the state of art. Besides, we implemented an ablation study to further explore the effects of each design in our network. The table shows that the relational feature and the joint training both contribute to the scores in layout estimation, the 3D detection and the mesh generation, and combining them together facilitates the best configuration. In summary, we provide a solution for end-to-end -end 3D scene understanding and the mesh reconstruction. Its joint training strategy shows the complementary role of each component and it reaches the same art on each task. And we also provide a normal topology modifier for mesh generation. Thanks for watching.